Hello, my name is Thorsten Effler from ETH Zurich. I'm here at the PAST 16 conference uh, together with Peter Messmer, the director of the NVIDIA co-design lab in Zurich. Um, and he's going to tell us about how he enjoys the conference right now. So Peter, what do you think? Well, as it was last year in Zurich, this year the conference is again a big success and tons of people, lots of diversity in the types of applications that people are trying to do on GPU accelerated systems, on other high performance computing systems. So it's exciting to see all this momentum that's being built and that is carried forward in this community. Okay, so how are you concretely contributing to that momentum? And what, what, what are you doing here in this context? Right, so the, uh, the NVIDIA Co-Design Lab is basically there to act as a um, as a, a conduit for information between the scientific user community and NVIDIA. So we want to hear what people are doing, how they are how they are working with GPUs, what they are trying to, to accomplish, and especially we also want to know what kind of challenges they are facing so that we can improve our products. On the other hand, we also want to make sure that people get most up-to-date, most accurate information so that they can leverage GPUs out there as efficiently as possible. So what did you learn so far at this conference that, that fits this uh, scheme or this need? Well, I mean, one of the research that I didn't know about um, and that just sounds so exciting is the idea that you, you want to go parallel not only in space so that you're not only parallelizing in, in space but also parallelizing in time. Now this is more of a mathematical challenge. It's less a something that's immediately applicable or readily uh, applicable to some of the, uh, the, the big challenges that we have out there for climate science, for instance. It, it's still more fundamental research, but it's exciting to see that, that people think about these additional ways of extracting parallelism from the scientific uh, problems that they have. Okay, so talking about climate sciences, so how do you believe climate sciences can, can make best use of the computing available today? Will it only be a GPU problem or will it be a GPU, CPU problem like these high throughput cores and uh, low latency cores or uh, something like this? I'm, I'm, I'm by no means a climate scientist, yeah. right? So I'm, I probably shouldn't comment on this one in, in any form, but what I've seen so far in our engagement with, for instance, the weather community, is that many of these applications have a lot of um, throughput part that they need to optimize, and GPUs are definitely very well suited for that. However, um, I think in, in those configurations, you not only need to look at the, the actual model, so the numerical model that, that predicts how the, the weather pattern is going to evolve over the next hours, but you also need to look about the entire um, data assimilation system, the way the data is being ingested into those systems, and um, there is probably some some places for CPUs in that environment as well. Uh, there definitely is for historical reasons, simply because we're talking about very large code bases that still need to be moved onto GPUs, but um, and maybe will never be moved to GPUs simply because they are not um, high enough throughput. They are they're very branchy codes that, that they have a lot of um, external dependencies, just big pieces of code. And so uh, for those, I'm not sure if they if they will ever move to, to GPUs. But then again, it's a, um, yeah, it's, it's a very short time until we have, or since we have the, the first GPU accelerated weather models out there. So um, who knows what's going to happen in the next few years. Oh, okay, so I'm asking this particular question actually, because we, PASC's main strength is the interdisciplinarity. So in fact, we have a significant part of the high performance computing weather community in this room. So this is, my, this is kind of my favorite community right, right. right now. <laughs> so so what, what would you say, what's your favorite community right now at this conference? Like, who would you like to interact more with? Well, so first of all, on the, uh, on the weather and climate community, we're actually actively engaged as well. So we are part of a, a European project called ESCAPE which targets at... Um, with, with WE as the co-design lab. WE as, a, as the co-design lab, as NVIDIA in, in Switzerland. And um, the idea of that project is really to investigate the suitability of accelerators, predominantly GPUs, but also other types of accelerators, including even, that's the cool part about that project, uh, even, even completely new architectures like optical processors, so using photons for computing. Um, so we're looking into those type of, of architectures for solving some of the core algorithmic challenges that uh, are faced in weather and climate simulation codes. So that's one of the, um, one of the active um, interests that I have here as well. Um, otherwise, you can see we're, we are sponsors of this conference. Um, obviously, we want to be engaged in this community. I mean, Switzerland has uh, made a lot uh, of investment into GPUs, and we want to know what's happening when PASC is probably the prime event for showing the activities in that field.